I'm Cliff Biggers, your host, and welcome to the Table of Humanity. Black community is having the life of its babies destroyed, and the NAACP and the media are knowingly conspiring to keep this information from the public. This is an outrage. When did you know that this was serious and it was going to be a little bit more? Um, I think people started to get the realization on that Friday um, after the Friday, the 28th, is <laughs> somewhere in there, I believe. Um, people, it's, people started to realize that this was going to be something big. <laughs> Millions of people in the street across What the does nation. that feel like? I mean, to be there, to feel that the entire nation mobilizing. It's sort of like something that just doesn't sink in. We have now reached a point in this country that African American women, though they make up 12% of the population, they account for 37% of the abortions. Of January 2009, he sent me this email that says, Cliff, I must have seen the spirit enter you that day in 1968 because it stuck with me. I was witness to your transformation. I know why I remember you with such fondness. But that day was the beginning of my transformation. Being fat is a national security problem. That's what the first lady said, obesity. You know, it's a kind word for saying fat. Americans said by two to one margin that their financial situation had deteriorated compared with a year earlier. Her mother has agreed to talk to us and joining me now on the phone is Roxana Green. Good morning to you, ma'am. Good morning. I mean, people just can't imagine what you are going through this morning. Um, I'm so sorry for your loss. I look at this beautiful child. I'm a mom too. Human beings were created to abide by the boundaries of right and wrong that God established. And each and every one of us have the moral responsibility before God to do that which is known to be good and right while abstaining from that which is evil and wrong. And all the people and the men's and the children and all the women's. What would you tell young people? You know, sometimes uh, in America we take so many things for granted. Uh, our freedoms uh, to speak and to go and to from state to state. Uh, you know, you saw a little different culture there as far as people wanting to have the same things that we have here in America. What would you tell young people uh, in America about um, our freedoms and what we should be appreciating here in America? I would say that it's not only your right, but your responsibility to, um, to express your political opinion, express your thoughts. <laughs> But the false notions of race that came to the Americas and the chattel slavery that followed it can be traced to a certain period in history, uh, namely the time of European explorations that occurred in the 15th century. diversity councils, mm -hmm. that you empower students to be able to come up with some ideas and some programs ownership. for ownership. That's and, right. and once you buy into it and you own it, then you're responsible for how it's going to look. I'm Dr. D. Lloyd because I know what I'm talking about. Y'all hang in there here and do the right thing.